All right, guys, today we are going to go over how to tie a stinger rig. Um, and it's going to be with a Carolina rig for what I typically do, but you can do it with anything. The The bottom line with a stinger rig is its purpose is if you've got a big bait like like a whole fish or, or even a smaller whole fish like a, an anchovy, grunion, or something like that, um, the two hooks here, the, picture this being your main hook, okay? If your bait extends all the way to here and the fish bites here and there's no hook the fish is going to get away but if you have a like a trailer or a stinger is what it's called uh, that second hook is there to to then hook the fish that would be getting away free so let's get into how you tie it we're just going to do two number two mosquito hooks here and we're going to picture this as our leader line okay and this there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can snell it and you only need one line. Um, but I actually like to do it a little differently. So I'll have like a, a six to eight inch um, piece of line here. But first we'll tie our normal hook. So we're going to pretend that one end is already attached to the main line via a Carolina rig, just a barrel swivel. And we're going to do just a typical clinch knot. So I'll twist it seven times here. I kind of just ballpark. I don't know if that was seven, but you do your seven twists. And then we'll go through that gap there. Cinch it down. There, you've got your first knot. So now we're picturing this right here is going to be attached to your swivel, which will usually have a, a weight threaded on your main line as well. But the point here is the stinger aspect of it all. So you've got your hook, and from here, we want another hook coming over here. So what I will do here, I'm actually going to tie it to the arc of the hook. So, so I'll take it here. And I'm going to twist the hook or twist the line around the hook. Just like this. Do the same seven times or so. I think that might have been six, but oh well. And we'll bring it right through this hole. Same exact knot. Once I get it through there. Cinch down. You can see that's good to go. Now, all we're going to do, at the end we'll, we'll cut all these tags, but now the hook is going to be tied right here. So we'll have two hooks. So I'll go ahead and tie that on. And you want to, depending on the size of your bait, you want to make the length um, really just fit to the size of the bait. So I'll take this. Okay, and that's the same, that's the line we just tied on there. And you see that's kind of long. If we're using an anchovy, and I'll show you pretty soon here, um, we're going to want it pretty short, something like, almost shorter than that. Because it's not even the whole length of the fish, because you, you're you doing a, you want the meat section of the tail and the meat section just behind the head. So we're going to do our twists here. And we'll go through. Cinch down. And that's it. Let me cut the tags. Sorry, I don't have my fishing nail clippers with me. That right there, some rough tags, but that's your stinger setup. So that's kind of how it should look. You've got both hooks there. Hopefully it focuses here. What is that? There you go. 
And it, again, you, you just fit it to the size of your bait. So let me show you a picture here of how I would hook it on my bait. 